Okay, at the end of the last video, part 3, we had come to the conclusion that for t between 3 and 4, we have 4 minus t as the uh, value of the convolved signals. So let's try to graph this and see what we get. So, here is t, and we see now that for values of t less than 0, for this guy, x convolved with h is equal to 0. So, we'll just kind of black or darken up 0 a little bit. Okay, between 0 and 1, that's this guy over here, we have that x convolved with h is equal to t. So if I'm graphing t between 0 and 1, it's just a line with slope 1. Then for t between 1 and 3, I have this result over here. This line is just equal to 1. And for t between 3 and 4, I have 4 minus t. Well, when uh, t is equal to 3, that gives me 1. And when t is equal to 4, that gives me 0. So it ends up being a line that goes down. And then, when t is greater than 4, I have 0 again. Okay. Here, this is so exciting, we'll even pencil it or color it in with another color. So, there you have the result. Um, it's uh, fairly typical that if you, well, in fact, it almost always happens this way. If you have two rectangular pulses and you convolve them, um, the result is going to be something that has two sloping sides like this and then a flat spot. And you can see that this flat spot has a width of 2. And the, you'll notice that that's because h is one unit or is two units longer than x. Okay? And so when you're convolving two rectangular pulses, you're going to get a flat spot. That is the difference between the length of the two pulses. So if the pulses were to be exactly the same length, you'd have no flat spot. You'd get just a nice triangle. Um, you also have um, the, the going up and coming down uh, is typical. Uh, the slope of this line up and the slope of this line down depends on the amplitude of the two pulses. Uh, so in our case, since the amplitude of the two pulses is 1, our slope here is a positive 1 and here is a negative 1. If I had had different amplitudes for either x or h or both of them, then the slopes would be different and the peak or the level of the, if it rises to a peak, uh, if the two pulses have the same length, or uh, the length or the altitude of this plateau, of this flat spot, uh, would be different. So, there you have it, an exercise in convolution of two rectangular pulses.